Hello, hello everybody, it's Rob Prof Chop, and we're back again with some more horror content. Since we watched last video by Nick Crowley, people said this would be a good point to uh, resume the horror journey. This is Smart Schoolboy 9 and Internet Rabbit Hole. It sounds awful, it looks awful. Let's see how awful it is. Oh, brother. Flashing images shown down to my content with the individual discussing. Oh, in video, can they see them? Maybe saying distressing stuff like a CP. CP? Tja. No, creepy Child? accounts pretending to be kids. Oh, I came shit. across a real random thing that's led brother. me down this weird like... rabbit hole of people using AI or dressing up pretending to go to school. They what? all seem to have high heels. Okay, check images. first off, my my whole, my whole experiences in school were boring to annoying. Why would you want to go back? Now you got money and freedom. Why go back? In it's them. like prison. But Is this an age play maybe thing less or something bad. more sinister? Maybe more bad. Literally anything helps Depends. as I keep trying to look for answers. This post was made to the subreddit r slash Instagram by the user NumerousCut792 on April 15th, That's 2024. Right. It featured screenshots of three bizarre looking Instagram pages they had encountered earlier that day, with OP expressing concern that something truly disturbing was happening with Probably. these users. And those in the thread agreed. What the actual fuck? Found all of them and blocked them all. Truth Sticks 11 is seriously creepy to me. I've been Truth trying to find more about 11. them but can hardly find anything. Very weird account to say the least. The three accounts apparently belong to three different children. However, when combing through their okay. posts... First off, aren't most of these uh, social media sites made for like people above like 15 or 16? Like if you're a kid, you shouldn't even be made, able to make an account while they're not out to band or some shit. The content seems to imply something much more bizarre was afoot. Something truly disturbing. Like what? This post would be the start of a story that would eventually be picked up and shared all across the online world, becoming one of the more notorious internet mysteries in recent memory, as these accounts revealed an unending rabbit hole that is still being traversed to this very day. In an ongoing investigation into one of the most depraved oddities ever found on depraved Instagram, oddities. this is the emerging story of Smart Schoolboy 9. Oh God, brother. Okay, why, 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 why are you creeping me out, brother? Okay, can you get out of my screen? Please! Please get out of my screen! <laughs> Fuck you! We'll return you after asshole. these messages. Before we get too far down this oh, rabbit hole, I want to first thank today's sponsor, AG1. Wait, are those condoms? Bro, I look like a condom. Okay, I'm not that interested. Beautiful boy, an account looked after by me, a degree educated. Beautiful boy. ...mother choosing to stay anonymous. This was the bio of the first account pictured in the Reddit post, an account named TruthSticks11, which was said to be operated by a 12-year-old boy and his mother. Back in October of 2021, the duo would make their very first post, Why? kicking things off on a somewhat concerning note, <laughs> though not for their own page, but instead, another account on the platform. Abdullah Chakir. So, that's the account run by a man pretending to be a boy. <laughs> the video was created and posted by- What the hell was that? The mother, uh -huh. for the sole purpose of warning no. others of a specific user, who had been posing as a child online, when oh, in actuality, shit. he was a grown man, who did this in order to get close to and exploit other children across the platform. It's the grim reality of this online world, as predators will do just about anything to get closer to children, and it's a reality often unrealized or even ignored by parents, which makes it almost refreshing that this mother was out here trying to raise awareness. Was she though? These posts would become the crux of the account early on. They would call out this user and their many accounts again and again, eventually going more in depth about what this person would actually do, claiming that they had a strange perversion to dressing up as a young schoolboy. Does he wish he were a young boy in a school classroom, looking nice and being successful at school? Yes. What? This theme of calling out online predators would remain consistent throughout the years on Truth Sticks 11. Okay, I mean, however, after that's kind of weird, but kind of harmless unless he's talking to the kids, I guess. I don't know. It's fucking, I Some time, the weird. mother Let's behind see. the account began to get real bad. Every time I say it's not that bad, it goes home. To share photos of her son. The photos began reasonably normal, and would show this young boy studying okay. at school, accepting awards hook. from their principal, no offense, and even but... school presentations in which their son Wait, had attended. Okay, first off, something ain't right here. So, like, look at that hand, look at that face. What is going on? These are if it's not AI photos, your son's an alien. That motherfucker needs to be exterminated. With the captions often okay. boasting about how intelligent the young boy was, though over time the photos began to grow. Stranger. How? I, I saw the first photo. That shit was already strange as hell, brother. How is it stranger? 
Yeah, this ain't real. Ew. Ew. They looked off. Almost Ew. as if they were AI generated. Ew, shit. And on top of this, Ew. they began to appear. Damn, homie's got like a 16 foot fully edited in an almost size. inexplicable manner. Yeah. With deep red lipstick often being added, which was enunciated by his face being turned pure white. This unsettling trend would continue from here, as with each passing post, the photos grew less authentic and more surreal. It looks like that home alone kid a little bit there. But like, even weirder. Okay. Okay. I Until think we saw enough, bro. Straight up disturbed. They're all disturbed. Even sickening. These bizarre edits spilled over past just the images too, as the posts began to appear well, as Gingo's disjointed bombs, this collages. This much should not be healthy. Often showcasing multiple grotesque images and paragraphs about how much this user loved school. And this wasn't the only shift either. Okay. First off, if you love school damn much, you're a weirdo. Straight up, like. At some point, maybe you've some gone to a different school. My school was posting boring content itself. that allegedly came directly from him. Saying things like, my really cool mom asked me if I'd like to post, and I said, yes, please. He even shared... First off, ain't nobody that is a teenager or a little bit before teenager saying their mom is cool. Okay? ...supposed videos that he had filmed Hell himself, nah. which were equally as unconvincing as his photos, and somehow like even more chilling. Oh, shit. Videos now. The boy even shows off his singing in one of the clips. Though their okay. voice sounds first off, if that was singing them, I I might be on the grande or some shit. Um, Hell no. Everything is off. What do you mean the, the voice sounds off? Everything's off here. Anomalous and extremely right. off-putting. And though this content was visually alarming, another aspect made it even more so concerning. Which as is. over time, many of the images began to resemble CP, showcasing these fake AI CP. children in explicit positions, hey, yo. with their faces sometimes even being photoshopped onto scantily dressed adult bodies. One thing is blatantly obvious about Okay, my FBI agent should go over to that person. Truth sticks account. Stop watching me, but watch child them. behind it is not real. Even in the more passable photos at the very How beginning, there's evidence to suggest that these were likely AI as well. And based on the disturbed, borderline illegal content that this page featured, it seemed more than likely that whoever was behind this page was not an innocent mother concerned for the welfare of other children, yeah, but no. instead, a predatory individual themselves. And this wasn't their only account. The second page featured on the Reddit post belonged to a user named Girl Chloe 12 and bore a striking similarity. First off, how does somebody see the account named girl.chloe12 and is like, yep, that's a person I want to engage with. 18 followers? Y'all weird as hell. To truth sticks. Okay, what the are you doing? The page was also supposedly run by a child and monitored by their parent. Bizarrely, they also posted frequently about the dangers of online predators, with the wording of these posts and the editing being essentially the exact same as truth sticks, just not as over the top. Truth these two sticks. accounts even frequently interacted with each other, thus providing a substantial link on its own. But by far the most compelling link between these pages is one that is easy to miss at a glance. With that being a blatant obsession with high-heeled mini boots. These shoes were mentioned or shown in virtually every single post made by these two users. Huh? At playtime, I'm sometimes running around with my real- First off, if you go to school with those shoes, you're done, bro. Your school life is done. The cool heeled footwear I wear with my uniform. Cool After footwear. After coming home from school, education isn't over for the day once the blue blazer, gray jersey, neat tie, white shirt, tailored close fit gray trousers, and black heeled mini boots are in the wardrobe. No matter what they discussed, school uniforms and mini yeah, boots some were always a talking shit. point, which adds confirmation to something that is already oh, becoming brother. apparent. <laughs> Hopefully, no, no, brother. Nothing here has a pattern. This is fetish content, not yeah, too unlike the bizarre shit. accounts in the Pipergate rabbit hole. Fetish what? content centered around children. And what makes the Chloe no, account I don't so disturbing pause and go is back. that AI was seemingly not used, and rather, the images seemed to be of actual children. Huh. Despite this disturbing distinction, these two accounts are cut from the same cloth, and all signs point to them being created by the same person. A, a person who, child. despite their constant warnings of the dangers of adults pretending to be children online, seems to be doing the exact same thing, as part of some sort of fetish, the extent of which we'll discuss later. But for now, one thing was for certain. 
These pages were not run by children or yeah, their no parents. Shit. So who created them? Well, that brings us to our third and final account shown in that initial post. Smart, oh, it's in the title. Smart Schoolboy 9 was much the same as the other two accounts. They warned of online predators. Okay, first off. Smart like, Schoolboy 9 bro, was much the same. Just look at it. The name of the account is Smart Schoolboy 9. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Nobody's making an account like that. After that, look at this. After my mom, I'm a mixed race schoolboy. Ain't no 10 year old saying I'm a mixed race schoolboy. No, you're not, you little shit. Same as the other two no, you accounts. Ain't. They warned of online predators. You ain't just saying that. That's high heeled think... mini boots and school Maybe uniforms. Maybe it's weird to mix them. Yeah, child, despite I don't know. Clearly not being like one. We the sales. But smart hey. schoolboy was different. Wait, in what the hell did my eyes land on? I'm a little bit chubby, but I'm not, I'm age nine now, and the lunch is school, the meals at home were nice. Child, despite clearly not being one. Huh. But smart schoolboy was different in one key aspect. Which the is? person behind the account was pretending to be a child, but they were doing so in a much more apparent manner, as they didn't use AI or stolen images of other kids to form their identity. But they do. And instead, they used photos of... Oh. ...themselves. Okay, that's a serial killer. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I got clues. Yeah, that's that, That's a horror movie. That, that, that dude gonna stab you 13 times in the colon. I don't know where the colon is. I think it's somewhere down there, but... In the images posted yeah, on the okay, account, bro. we see what appears to be a fully grown man Yo, dressed in a schoolboy's uniform. Fuck. His face is painted pure white. Well, okay, what is up with the white face, though? I don't understand. Why? Why are you painting your face white? His bright red lipstick. What is up with that and shit? He's, of and the course, lipstick. wearing high-heeled mini boots. Characteristics that were all utilized across the uh, other uh, accounts. First off, you ain't a bit chubby, homie. You got 13 bellies. Only this time, it was done on himself, as he poses as a child, pretending to go to school, as well as pretending to go through other life events common for preteens. And the photos aren't even the most disturbing part, as the account consists primarily of videos. Oh. <laughs> Is he Fortnite oh. dancing on us? Uh, let me know if you like school as well. Wait, th that's a voice from the first video, ain't it? A little bit weird, different, but... The videos are all incredibly off-putting. Some show him arriving home from school. One, two, three, four, five. School. Others show him claiming to be on the bus heading towards school. Okay. I mean, first of all, obviously he has something wrong, right? So I don't, I don't, I don't know yeah. how much I can go in on okay. him. Because yes. I feel That's a little cool. bad. In other videos, but then again, you're trying to do some, have some weird shit is. online, so don't. With these strange sounds and the process of sticking his tongue out appearing to be part of his fetish. I have the best school face. As much like the other accounts, his content is overtly sexual in its own bizarre way. Is <laughs> In fact, the there's a video of him with his full outfit on where he shows himself Minus staring chromosome into a mirror dance? as he appears to pleasure himself. Okay, that hey, right yo! As he stares into his own eyes. Okay, first off, if I okay, listen. Sometimes they ask the question, "Would you fuck yourself if you, you know, if there was a version of you?" If that, hmm, probably shouldn't say that, but you know, I probably would. This account is by far the most sickening part of this whole rabbit hole, and also the most important. <laughs> Interspersed throughout his page are a few examples of what this individual's voice sounds like. This is quite good. <laughs> yeah, this is the voice from Which the first video. Which just so happens to be the same voice Abdullah heard in the very Kier. first clip shown on the Truth Sticks account. Man, pretend. Oh yeah, wow, it is. Now when he puts them side by side, bro, it's the same, exact same voice. <laughs> Meaning that this full-grown adult man is the one behind this entire laugh. rabbit hole. I'm sorry. He's the one on these That's accounts mean, pretending to be a child and their mother, getting some sort of sick satisfaction from whatever this is. And the worst part is, these activities aren't just kept behind closed doors. As we can see on numerous occasions, videos of him walking around outside in a public space with his full outfit I mean, and face paint on. Okay. Look at that
it's truly one of the strangest things that I've ever yeah, seen. Okay. My question is, you sit at late at night. What do you do, brother? And making sense of what this all is is extremely you gotta, difficult. Hope but based you worked on, the on your coverage, found brother. From this first Reddit Click post, back a few likely kids. conclusions can be put forward. This man is clearly attracted to the idea of being a kid. And I think OP mm -hmm. was correct when they speculated that this was some sort of age play thing. But it's also clearly much more than that too. As based on the images that he's created himself, he clearly has some sort of attraction to other children as well. As he's quite literally created faux CP. The likes of which Both is so disturbing me? that I can't even really describe it here either. He's creating fetish content, and he's using the likeness of children, and also some children that are clearly very real people, to do so. That much is obvious. But there was also the possibility that he was pretending to be a kid in order to exploit other children across the internet. Open up, At this point, right? though, this was merely speculation. With much What's of up? If you're a kid and you see that motherfucking, you're like, hey, friend, no, no, stranger danger, brother, that's stranger danger X15. Smart schoolboy nine Run. Case remaining a mystery. Fast. And the Track rabbit hole team. was only getting deeper from here. Community. As in. Against him? Months after Hopefully this not hole with him? To the on him? World, Around the him? Under him? All across the internet. Oh, Most notably on the r slash internet mystery subreddit, where the r case really took off. Mystery. There, internet sleuths began uncovering just how vast this web of accounts actually was. As it wasn't just these three pages. No, there seemed to be over a dozen, and likely even more that we still haven't found. School girl as he's Teresa. created his own sort of community, his own little world, where across each page he pretends to be a child. With these accounts typically following each other and frequently interacting, seemingly to make these characters appear as though they have real friends. Yo, that is a fucking essay, brother. On one of these pages, 12 Stockholm more. Joanne, he poses as a 14-year-old girl, using more AI images to depict explicit okay. positions what of is his up with the lips? child, which Why I obviously am not going to show here. Though much like his Chloe account, he also shows images of very real First young... Off. And what's cool, do they make kids wear high heels, okay? If you were in a school where they are like, hey, you know what's a good shoe for a kid? High heels, then you need to leave the country. Girls. But this isn't the most the school. part of this account. As on numerous occasions, he's shown images of children at a playground. Ayyo! Okay, okay, get the gun. Big gun, elephant gun, because we got a big ass creature to take down. Which Hell he may nah. have taken himself. You weird ass motherfucker. This fantasy of being a schoolgirl and taking part in these school centric activities is something carried over throughout multiple of his accounts, with his most common alias being Stephanie, of which he has numerous different accounts featuring that same name. Yeah, I'm Stephanie. No, you're not, bitch. No, you ain't. This Stephanie character claims to be a 12. What's up with 13 year olds? We are all aspiring brother. poet, with accounts all across the internet, many of which showcasing examples of her poetry, which carries on those same distinct sexual undertones. What a weird cunt. I race to complete my poems when I've got an early start. Heart racing, mixed rhythms, maximizing miracles, rice with rap, Maximize and on the map, miracles. like Kennington, London syllables, dancing though I know my underwear Eminem? might show if I lean forward. Hey yo! Good. Stephanie Stansfield, 12. No! But digging even deeper, no. her poetry has even seemingly been featured in various articles and even newspapers. Why? Showcasing that this rabbit hole extends far past just the online world. Damn. This act is clearly their obsession, and he's been doing this for years, with the earliest examples that I could find coming from all the way back in 2018. And this Bro, this is one of those where you're like, oh, he's just a weirdo, don't touch him, don't do anything to him, and then BAM! After 15 years, he's murdered like 20 kids. Stephanie character or seems some to shit. be his go-to alias embodying it in even the literal sense. Okay, I don't think I want to see that motherfucker in a, in a skirt, in high heels. Okay. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay, no, brother. As in one of his many pages Ew. dedicated to this Stephanie character. Okay. He dresses as her, wearing a wig and a dress, as he pretends to be a 12-year-old girl. Yeah, 12 years, 12... Almost immediately after no, this case began mind. gaining traction, the true that. magnitude of this rabbit hole was revealed. Across every single account are countless <gasps> depraved posts and oddities that all could warrant discussion. But by far the most important discoveries were those that didn't actually occur on his own page. Which is? And rather, the pages of other actual children. 
Do you like school? Okay, I like, this is a good reason not to have your kids on fucking social media, okay? If they're that young. Dude, it's these good. motherfuckers out there. You have some cool shirts, but I have to wear school uniforms to school. It is nice, but casual isn't allowed, and it's quite hot hey, here in yo, the UK. Hey, yo, UK! Throw them up in the ocean, brother! You surrounded by it! June suddenly got warmer. See if the whales these swim! These are two examples out of many that show smart schoolboy 9 reaching out and attempting to befriend no. young children online. In one comment, he even warns a child about other comments from bad people, stating that It happens to most boys in our age group, but stay safe, stay cool, don't be dismayed by creeps. This is our best evidence that these accounts weren't just made for age play. No, he's actually posing as a child in order to make friends with other children. And given his overtly sexual interests and aversion to CP, it's not hard to gather why he was doing this. And these examples are only what we found so far. It's possible that there are dozens or who okay. knows me. When did this happen? Is this motherfucker out that large? I mean, he's fucking large, but out. Maybe even hundreds of other comments out there hidden Ooh. on unknown children's accounts. This is predatory behavior. This is it. The man behind Schoolboy 9 You can't take is pictures of kids. You can't In go around kids. He shouldn't be able to go around kids. This was a sexual thing. Here's what he had to say about being a 13 year old girl. Okay, this dude's like all the means. But have his tactics actually worked? Hopefully not. Well, the frightening thing is, no one knows if he's actually been successful or not, or even what specifically he's looking for. We just know that he's trying A to bullet. reach kids, as evidenced not only by his comments, but by the fact that he's solely following children on all of these pages. And though it's easy to look at these accounts and know that something is off, for children, it's <laughs> Yeah, dumb. kids are dumb as hell, and... <laughs> Fuck me, that's a problem. Kids dumb as hell. At Especially least one's gonna be like, oh, look, friend. Oh, no, no friend. Kids. No friend. Which brings up another frightening detail. Many of the images he's used of children have not been traced back to their original creator, and some seem to appear for the very first time online publicly on this man's pages, which might mean that he was sent them privately. There's even <gasps> one image that David posted on his schoolboy account, which no! shows another kid that he claimed to be on a play date with. Though it's okay, listen, if I had a kid and I saw that motherfucker hanging in hell with my kid, I'm going to jail, brother. Hey, 25 to life, I don't give a fuck. I'm smashing that motherfucker with a bat to the head. But I can't. Okay, possible I, to I need to be careful with what's all the shit for I say on just here. Don't know for sure. Though given the fact that he's reaching out to children, posting fetish content centered <laughs> around children, and has even potentially photographed kids in the wild, one thing in the is wild. for certain, <laughs> kids in the wild. <laughs> no. Smart schoolboy nine needs to be stopped. Okay, I'm afraid because there is still eight Finding more minutes. Reporting him to law enforcement quickly became the top priority for those investigating. It shouldn't be case. too hard. You can. And luckily, he left several glaring clues behind Thank that God. made this process uh, a whole lot no, easier. No bodies, no bodies, no On bodies. On numerous occasions across his many pages, Ooh. he would post images and videos of specific locations. Even showing streets and mentioning very particular Come on, areas for in his poems, Let's go. All of which centered around Good the job. area, immediately giving us an idea of where he was located. What is this? And that what wasn't all. I mentioned how the alias of Stephanie was one that he used more so than any other. Please don't. But what's interesting is don't. that there was another name used just as often across his accounts, brought up time and time again. Though it's a name that he never seemed to call any of his characters. Instead, he simply referred to this person oh. as a stepbrother or a father or even a friend from school, despite never actually picturing him, just mentioning his name, David. Dave. And sure oh enough, God, after I connecting it- Bro, this is like the 15th time I've gotten goosebumps. I got them on my back now. This shouldn't be half never happened to me. Fuck. A few dots, it would be revealed that this person's hmm. actual name was in fact David. Oh, David, David. David Alter. Oh. With a man being 59, 59. years old. At the moment, it doesn't appear that David has any hey, past yo. criminal convictions or documented history of this behavior. But we do know that thanks to the investigation done on Reddit and Discord, he is currently being investigated by local authorities, which will hopefully put an end to his online behavior and shine some more light on who this person actually no is. Bodies? As Good. for the time being, the only other information that we really know about David is that he likes to write poetry and he makes music. Yeah, can you channel that somewhere away from kids? Okay. I think I hear a running tram. Going back in time. Not out of time. I think I like a little lemon and lime. To Mary Ann. It's Dan. I like the sound of the running tram. And his name also appears in a random. That's newspaper. Satan. 
where That's he's safe discussing right the there. importance of I had religious kids wearing safe. school uniforms. With high heels and, really all and short skirts with cunt. Though there is one very important no. aspect that we have yet to talk about in relation to this man, with that being David's mental state. Hey, some okay, listen. Obviously, mental state there ain't much. Or if there is, that shit fucked up. I broken. Believe that David is yeah, a mentally yeah. unwell individual yeah, who potentially doesn't know the extent of what they are doing. Doesn't now, matter even if this is the case. His behavior still. Hey, listen, I hate when they use that. Listen, doesn't matter if you're some hit in the head, some born with a defect. If you do bad shit, bad shit, you, you get punished. Okay, I don't care if you don't know. Learn, motherfucker. Society, to baby. And he needs to be given proper help to assure yeah, that no one else gets up. hurt by his actions. But it is important to note that David is far more special, intelligent mean you should, than he lets on, as his know, personal account shows that shit. he is fairly well-spoken and articulate. And throughout his problematic content, most of his bad grammar and strange verbiage seems to be his attempts at more authentically trying to replicate a child. But it's impossible to know for sure. But what we do know is that David is School extremely is good. manipulative. With his response to oh, the situation and other clues littered across his accounts, showing us that he seems to know what he's doing, and he knows that it's wrong. Oh god, response from whom? Since the exposure of David's accounts, he hasn't silently slithered away like most other predators slithered would. Slithered Instead, away. he's actually responded on more than a few occasions, lashing out to those who have DM'd him, oh. calling them the perverts and predators. He even left a comment on his Joanne account seemingly directed at himself, writing, You are really sad. And if that's your name, David, be honest with yourself. You're 50, as you said elsewhere. You reply to me, a girl, as if I'm your buddy? No chance ever. This is something David does all the time. It's projection. And it started all the way back at the beginning of this rabbit hole. So, what is going what's on? What's the account run by a man? Does he have tend... like 15 personalities? Is it like one, that one movie with the 16 personalities? Like the one that dresses as a woman and you know that movie? Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that was pretty decent shit. <laughs> the prisoner of women. posting these predator exposés, along with other warnings about predators on the internet across every page he made, each of which being hyper-specific to his own predatory ways and fetishes. The things he accuses others of are blatant projections of his own dark vices. And I can think of two reasons why. Number one, that this makes his account look safer okay, to so other crazy. parents and children. Nah, it gives the appearance no, that he's no. not another internet Up creep. to three times as many as the UK police believe national crime agency warns. Yo! That's a lot of people! That many because child he's actively predators. calling them out. It's a way to build trust in order to befriend and exploit kids. And number two, he knows what he's doing is wrong. And this is his bizarre but way doesn't of want to stop it. probably to make himself feel better about what he's doing. And it's obvious based on just how accurate these claims against others okay, are. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think this is a pro I think I'll be honest, I've said that before. I believe it strictly. This is why people should be allowed to beat the shit out of other people. Like with with strictly, like, you know, within the reason, okay? Hey, fuck off, fly. To book. him, does he like, wish he were on, a young brother. boy in a school classroom, looking nice and being successful at school? Like some people deserve yeah. it. And these claims Am are I wrong? over and over again. As Probably, each time he calls someone on, out, he's further exposing himself, which becomes more concerning when you realize that these projections seemingly aren't strictly pedophilic. But? Within those eerily familiar exposé posts he made on Truth Sticks 11, he mentions how this user not only wanted to exploit children online. But they wanted to what? kill them as well. Ay, cannibalism. As he mentions that this user has a clear interest in. Hey, I told you, serial killer. Please, nobody. In cannibalizing kids and even performing ritualistic sacrifices on them. Okay. And based on how accurate all of the other exposures are to himself, I have no reason to believe that this isn't part of his mo as well. As crazy as that may sound. This also seems to coincide with some of the content he's posted that I can't show you, as some of these photos show children edited in contorted positions, including some where he's added what appears to be rope to give the illusion that they're tied up. And what makes this even more disturbing is that okay, on his stop account, he's picture, posted numerous photos God. in the vicinity of schools. Yeah, that's a problem. On nearby secluded trails. He should not be allowed even there. Even some where he discusses what time school starts and ends, saying that he likes to be awake and ready for it. There's even photos that show other children outside from a distance. Wait, is that Almost a kid? That kid had a bald spot. That, what the hell? That poor kid. As if David was stalking them. Unfortunate. This is highly concerning. 
Even if we don't know truly how low this man's perversions get, he is still far too close to children, which is perfectly encapsulated yes. by this photo of him on a school playground during the day. And with his disturbing desires... Okay, first off, if you see this motherfucker in a school playground at any point of time, at any day, you probably... I don't know. I don't want to say what you do because I'm probably not good on YouTube to I say what you should do. What he's capable but of. you know what I mean, right? Which brings us to the like, final come piece of on, content brother. that I need to talk about. It's like a civil duty at that point. Chasing another boy running in heeled mini boots. Okay, well, this was first off, I don't think it's good to run in high heels. Probably not comfortable. Probably fuck you up. Plus, you fat as hell. Your heels are not meant to take all that weight. I don't know. I think the boy has a chance. Unfortunately, I don't think the boy should be put in that position. Test shown on screen with during a cunt. short video posted onto one of David's many accounts. And in the video, we see the man pointing the camera at himself, showing his full face of white makeup and red lipstick. <laughs> This video is edited more egregiously than any others I've seen across his page, with multiple explicit images yeah, what the hell is and huge going emojis here? covering the majority of the screen. Though just barely enough of the footage can be seen, that shows David as he turns the camera around, revealing a young boy. <laughs> who he then proceeds to chase oh, after. Oh hell no. Nah. Exterminados. Giggling boom, boom. all the while. No, no. Where's the bad? Whether this was an edited video Where's or the steel a real pipe? we don't currently know. You gay? David's doings are a mystery that will take some time to unravel. I and my know. hope is that law enforcement don't will be able to follow through and help shed some more light on this individual. But it isn't right. put an end to his twisted behavior. But at this point, only one thing is for sure. The story of Smart Schoolboy 9 is far from over. I hope not. I hope it has a happy ending. For the population. Well, I'm showing the videos we never have sent to the law post. We have been investigating this case for the past few weeks. Okay. Please do not attempt to contact David as they even film with their investigation. I mean, that's probably true. We probably shouldn't. Unless, you know. Holy shit, that was creepy as hell. Man, I got goosebumps like so many times during this video. That was like at least six times. That's not good for my health, I don't think. And nothing good should happen to his health, hopefully, you know. I don't usually wish bad upon people, but goddamn, Meteor to the head or some shit. <laughs> yeah, I should probably end the video before I say some fucked up shit and come get me banned. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Not too much, okay? Don't be extra weird. Uh, I'll be streaming some Silent Hill. Come join for that later on today. I might have streamed it already. I'll be streaming all week. So, yeah, anyway, goodbye, everybody. If you're in the UK, careful. I